Good morning. I'm Debbie Ridgel. Come join me for morning prayer. Today is Friday, December 16th. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Dearly beloved, the scriptures teach us to acknowledge our many sins and offenses, not concealing them from our Heavenly Father, but confessing them with humble and obedient hearts, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. We ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before Almighty God, but especially when we come together in his presence to give thanks for the great benefits that we have received at his hands, to declare his most worthy praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things which are necessary for our life and our salvation. Therefore, draw near to me to the, to the throne of heavenly grace." Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises, declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Venite, O come. Our King and Savior now draws near. O come, let us adore him. <coughs> Excuse me. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are all the depths of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Our King and Savior now draws near. O come, let us adore him. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 115. Now unto us, O Lord, not unto us, not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto your name give the praise for your loving mercy and for your truth's sake. Why shall the nations say, Where now is their God? As for our God, he is in heaven. He has done whatsoever pleased him. Their idols are silver and gold, even the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses have they, but they smell not. They have hands, but they feel not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Neither is there any sound in their throat. Those who make them are like them, and so are all who put their trust in them. But you, O house of Israel, Trust in the Lord. He is their helper and defender. You, house of Aaron, put your trust in the Lord. He is their helper and defender. You who fear the Lord, put your trust in the Lord. He is their helper and defender. The Lord has been mindful of us, and he shall bless us. He shall bless the house of Israel. He shall bless the house of Aaron. He shall bless those who fear the Lord, both small and great together. The Lord shall increase you more and more, and you and your children after you. You are the blessed of the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. The heavens are the Lord's, the earth has he given to the children of men. The dead praise you not, O Lord, neither all those who go down into silence. But we will praise the Lord from this time forth forevermore. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our first lesson is a reading from the Wisdom of Solomon, beginning with the first chapter, the first verse. 
And this is Wisdom 1, which is also an apocryphal book. Love righteousness, you rulers of the earth. Think of the Lord in goodness and seek him with sincerity of heart, because he is found by those who do not put him to the test and manifest himself to those who do not trust him. For perverse thoughts separate people from God, and when his power is tested, it exposes the foolish. Because wisdom will not enter a deceitful soul or dwell in a body enslaved to sin. For a holy and disciplined spirit will flee from deceit and will leave foolish thoughts behind and will be ashamed at the approach of unrighteousness. For wisdom is a kindly spirit, but will not free blasphemers from the guilt of their words because God is witness of their innermost feelings and a true observer of their hearts and a hearer of their tongues because the spirit of the Lord has filled the world and that which holds all things together knows what is said. Therefore, those who utter unrighteous things will not escape notice and justice when it punishes will not pass them by. For inquiry will be made into the counsels of the ungodly, and a report of their words will come to the Lord, to convict them of their lawless de deeds. Because a jealous ear hears all things, and the sound of grumbling does not go up unheard. Beware, then, of useless grumbling, and keep your tongue from slander. Because no secret word is without result, and a lying mouth destroys the soul. Do not invite death by the error of your life or bring on destruction by the works of your hands because God did not make death and he does not delight in the death of the living for he created all things so that they might exist. The generate, generative forces of the world are wholesome and there is no destruction, destructive poison in them and the dominion of Hades is not on earth for righteousness is immortal. But the ungodly, by their words and deeds, summon death. Considering him a friend, they pined away and made a covenant with him, because they are fit to belong to his company. Here ends the reading. The Te Deum Laudamus, we praise you, O God. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praises you. Throughout the world, the holy church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting." Our second lesson is a reading from the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ to St. John, beginning with the eighth chapter, the first verse. <clears throat> when the Lamb opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. Then I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and seven trumpets were given to them. And another angel came and stood at the altar with a golden censer. And he was given much incense to offer with the prayers of all the saints on the golden altar before the throne. And the smoke of the incense with the prayers of the saints rose before God from the hand of the angel. Then the angel took the censer and filled it with the fire from the altar and threw it on the earth. And there were peals of thunder, rumblings, flashes of lightning, and an earthquake. Now the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared to blow them. The first angel blew his trumpet, and there followed hail and fire, mixed with blood, and these were thrown upon the earth. And a third of the earth was burned up, and a third of the trees were burned up, and all green grass was burned up. The second angel blew his trumpet, and something like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea, and a third of the sea became blood. 
a third of the living creatures in the sea died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. The third angel blew his trumpet, and a great star fell from heaven, blazing like a torch, and it fell on a third of the rivers and on the springs of water. The name of the star is Wormwood. A third of the waters became Wormwood, and many people died from the water, because it had been made bitter. The fourth angel blew his trumpet, and a third of the sun was struck, and a third of the moon, and a third of the stars, so that a third of their light might be darkened, and a third of the day might be kept from shining, and likewise a third of the night. Then I looked, and I heard an eagle crying with a loud voice as it flew directly overhead. Woe, woe, woe to those who dwell on the earth at the blast of the other trumpets that the angel, three angels are about to blow. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> The Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight. All the days of our life, you, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us say the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Let us say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> o Lord, show your mercy upon us and grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us and lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness and let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and take not your Holy Spirit from us. O God, you led your holy apostles to ordain ministers in every place. Grant that your church, under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, may choose suitable persons for the ministry of word and sacrament, and may uphold them in their work for the extension of your kingdom. Through the great shepherd and bishop of our souls, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, you sent your messengers, the prophets, to preach repentance and prepare the way for our salvation. Grant that the ministers and stewards of your mysteries may likewise make ready your way by turning the hearts of the disobedient toward the wisdom of the just, that at your second coming to judge the world, 
we may be found a people acceptable in your sight. For with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign, one God, now and forever. Amen. A Colic for Endurance Almighty God, whose most dear Son, went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, I invite you to add your prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings. <coughs> Excuse me. Lord, we lift up those on our parish prayer list. Glenn, Joy, Natalie, Rachel, Koa, Anne-Marie, Pearl, Robin, Blake, John, Angela, Lamar, Linda, Donna, Nora, Betty, Anne, Tom, Rona, Joni, Nolan, Gary, and Terry. Lord, we pray that you would restore their health, that you would strengthen their caregivers, and guide their medical teams. Lord, we continue to lift up our diocese and also peace in the world, especially in the Ukraine. All these things we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love, and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. <clears throat> A prayer of St. John Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their request. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as we made best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. This concludes morning prayer for this morning. Uh, I would invite you to join us Sunday at 10 a.m., either at Holy Cross or online. And I pray you have a blessed weekend and that you feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. God's peace.